So the Big Beast Snagger box pricing is confirmed at £125, $199 or €155. Euros. Let's have a talk about whether or not it's worth it. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking Beast Snaggers. With the prices of this new Orc Codex launch box revealed, I thought we'd talk a little bit more about the models within and how good value it's looking compared with other discount boxes that Games Workshop has put out. First up, I'd certainly be aware that this is a Games Workshop limited box release. They're quite well known for not having enough stock to meet demand, as we saw with Indomitus and that Piety and Pain box earlier in the year. There's at least some indications that this is going to be similar. Third party stores that stock Games Workshop stuff aren't getting all that many boxes of this. And that's probably because Games Workshop doesn't have all that many to go around, and they want to sell quite a lot out of their own web store too. If you do want to pick up a box of this, I'd either think about trying to contact your local gaming store to see if they could secure you a copy, or be ready on the Games Workshop web store ahead of time. Be ready with the refresh button, and try and get in before they sell out. It's not absolutely 100% guaranteed that they'll sell out quickly, but I think it's at least quite likely, so I think it makes sense to make the decision as to whether or not you want to buy this beforehand rather than just leaving it a few days after it comes out and deciding then. I will be giving away a couple of copies of this on the channel next month though, so that's another way to potentially get your hands on it if you're interested. There'll be a bit more on that at the end of the video. In any case, it looks like the pricing is in line with the Dominion box set, £125, $199 or €155. Euros. It is kind of what I was expecting to be honest, pretty much in line with that Sister of Battle launch box back when their new plastic range dropped. In the box will be the new Codex Orcs with a limited edition cover, the one with the Squig Hog Rider that graces the cover of the box, the big Orc knob on the Smasher Squig, the one that does mortal wounds on a headbutt charge, Zogrob Wartsnagger, that unique Runt Hurt character, the one that allows you to make the super grots and has the mad hair, three Squig Hog Riders with their stickers and that bomb squig, 20 of the new tribal Beast Snagger boys, a set of Orc data sheets, and some Orky transfers. For the most part, it seems that most indications seem that the models are at least fairly monopose. The Beast Snagger Boys in particular, you only get a set number of poses. There were just a few head or weapon swaps. We've not seen any other builds for the Squig Hog Boys yet, so I suspect that they'll be quite similar. Though we do know that that Orc Knob on Smasher Squig is at least a little bit customizable. You can either choose to have his Slugger or his Big Chopper in his hand, change up how much Cyborg bits there are on the Squig, and pose it depending on whether or not it's going in for a head charge, or whether it's just looking up in a bit more of a normal pose. In any case, as this box is limited edition, it means that all the kits that are inside it will be released separately at some point or another. I think certainly one of the bigger draws to the box is perhaps that it's the first place to get the Orc Codex, and the first one to get any of these new sculpts. Getting a whole bunch of nice new sculpts all in one box together is pretty good fun, and I feel like the box is a good feel-good purchase, if you do like the slightly more tribal and snake bitey feel of the Beast Snaggers. None of these kits are released separately though, but we really can have quite a decent guess at the pricing. Codex Orcs will be £30 or $50. The Orc Knob on the Smasher Squig might be something like 29 similar to the Chaplin on Bike. Both are quite big mounted character models. Zogrog Wart Snagger is a fairly small and not all that significant character model, so I'd price him somewhere similar to the Chronomancer. He was £23.50. The three Squig Hog Riders I suspect will be similar to the Space Marine Outriders. They were £36.50 for the three of them. And maybe the trickiest one to estimate are those new Beast Snagger boys. We don't really have all that many things that are direct equivalents to them, both being really quite big chunky models, but also Horde Monopose models as well. For this estimate, I've guessed £36.50 for ten of them, similar to the Assault Intercessors. But hopefully they might be at least a little bit cheaper than that, maybe something more like 30 Finally, those Orc data cards should be something like £15. Overall, that will give us an estimate of around £207 for the combined value of the box, which would give us around about a 40% discount on the kits to bring it down to £125. Bear in mind, I might have been a little bit generous with the estimate of the price of those Beast Snagger boys. They could be a tiny bit cheaper if we're lucky. For US dollars, that means you're getting around about $335 for £199. So again, I'd guess around a 40% discount compared with what Games Workshop would typically sell them for separately. Overall, it's certainly better value than quite a lot of things from Games Workshop, and is fairly par for the course for their value boxes, sitting quite in line for those faction combat patrol ones. 
I would bear in mind though with these deals, it's only really all that great a deal if you do want all the models within. If there's anything that you would have passed up on if they were sold separately, then that would reduce the value a little bit. In particular, out of this set, I'm a little bit less enthused about the data cards. A lot of people like them, but I don't find them absolutely amazing value myself. And I'm not enormously convinced by Zogrod Wartsnagger, he just feels like a bit of an out of place miniature within the box basically being a unique Bronthood character, but he doesn't actually have any grots to lead within the box. Definitely a fun and quirky model, but probably one that I wouldn't really be looking to pick up myself, unless he also does some really fun things in-game. I guess we'll have to wait and see to see just how well the super grots do. So overall, I'd advise weighing this purchase up compared with just getting the bits that you want separately. I'm sure the Orc Codex won't be too far behind this release, and I'd certainly keep in mind that there's going to be an absolute ton of Orc releases coming out, regular new boys, death copters, plenty of other characters, and that kill rig. And if you're hobbying on a budget, it might make sense to try and pick and choose which ones of those you want the most, rather than just being given the slightly arbitrary set of units here. Also, we haven't seen the Codex Orcs rules yet, and while not every model in the collection needs to see play every game, it might give you a bit more of a guidance as to what sort of Orc army you'd like to build. Finally, of course, there will be an Orc combat patrol box coming too, and it will very likely have a similar level of discount to these. I'm sure that some of the new standard boys will be featured in it, and it'll be interesting to see what else we get. Overall though, I do think that this box looks really quite fun, it does seem at a decent discount for Games Workshop, and I think it is going to be very popular with new and returning Orc players alike, both because of all the fun new models and getting the Orc Codex early. Let me know what you think of it in the comments though, do you think that the Beast Nagger box is a good deal, or is it one that you're going to pass up, until we've seen a bit more of the Orc release and prices. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Orspets Tactics, where I'll most certainly, where I'll most certainly be covering the Orc Codex in review once it comes out, and I'm particularly looking forward to working through some of these new units and seeing what they can offer on the table. It's going to be interesting to weigh up Beast Nagger Boys versus regular ones, and I'm really interested to see the points cost of these new Squeak Hog Riders, I'm hoping that they could be quite efficient. Finally, I did mention that I will be giving away two of these boxes on the channel giveaway next month, so that could be one chance to get your hands on these as well. As normal with these Allspets Tactics prize giveaways, each month there's a draw, and there are two different ways to enter, either supporting the channel with a small amount on the Patreon page for automatic entry each month, or supporting on social media by subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the Allspets Tactics Facebook page, and then there's a prize draw comment that appears on the first of each month, to enter the draw, you just have to take a picture of a 40k model or any other imagery with your name and the day's date handwritten within the photo. That's just to stop it getting overwhelmed with bots. From there, everyone has an equal chance of winning. The draw's done with a random number generator, and I'll post them out to the winning people wherever they might be in the world. If you're interested at all, then the link to the Patreon page and the Facebook page are both down in the video description below. There's plenty of other benefits for supporting the channel on Patreon, so feel free to check it out. In any case, an absolutely enormous thank you for listening, really looking forward to getting a look at the new Orc book, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.